हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम हियर विथ लास्ट एंड फोर्थ पार्ट ऑफ सेल द यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ ऑफ एलेवेंथ स्टैंडर्ड इन दिस वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट न्यूक्लियस पार्ट्स ऑफ न्यूक्लियस फंक्शंस ऑफ न्यूक्लियस टाइप्स ऑफ क्रोमोजोम सैटेलाइट एंड माइक्रो बॉडीज सो लेट एस स्टार्ट द विथ न्यूक्लियस द न्यूक्लियस इज द मोस्ट कंसिपिकुअस एंड द लार्जेस्ट ऑर्गेनल ऑफ अ यूकैरियोटिक सेल it is seen with light microscope but when we want to see its fine structures then we have to use electron microscope nucleus was first of all observed by a dutch microscopist anton van leeuwenhoek in the rvc of fish but robert brown was the first to describe nucleus seen in an orchid cell most cells are uninucleate means one nucleus is present but some cell may possesses binucleate that is two nucleus and multinucleated that is more than two nucleus location of nucleus is generally in center in young cell but pushed towards periphery in the mature cell nucleus is called as controlling center of the cell or governor of the cell why it is called as controlling center and governor of the cell because it governs the cell it controls the cell nucleus is bounded by a thin nuclear envelope or nuclear membrane nuclear membrane is double layer membrane that contains pores called as nuclear pore the nucleus is composed of about 80% proteins 12% dna 5% rna and 3% lipids the protein includes enzymes such as polymerases and this polymerases helps in synthesis of dna and rna traces of minerals such as calcium sodium potassium magnesium are also present phosphorus is a component of dna and rna the important parts of nucleus are nuclear membrane nucleoplasm also called as karyolymph chromatin network and nucleolus we will discuss one by one in detail you can observe here the nucleus showing its structure in a simple way now let us discuss about the parts of nucleus first part of nucleus is nuclear membrane also called as nuclear envelope or karyotheca nuclear envelope consists of two unit membranes outer and inner each membrane resembles the cell membrane in a structure nuclear membrane separates nucleoplasm from cytoplasm the nuclear envelope is semi permeable and is perforated by minute circular nuclear pores and they may be Thousand to ten thousand per nucleus. During cell division, the nuclear envelope disappears. It helps in maintaining the shape of the nucleus and also preserve the stability of the genetic material, protecting it from respiratory breakdown that occurs in the cytoplasm. In the given figure, you may observe nuclear envelope. having outer nuclear membrane and inner nuclear membrane another part of nucleus is nucleoplasm it is also called as karyolymph or nuclear sac it is the fluid present inside the nucleus the nucleoplasm is a clear non staining gel like dense substance present within the nucleus it is the seat of synthesis of dna rna and ribosomal subunits it also contains histone and non histone proteins for combination with dna nucleoplasm support the chromatin material and nucleoli and also provide turgidity to the nucleus here you may observe the location of nucleoplasm 
नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट क्रोमेटिन नेटवर्क और क्रोमेटिन मटेरियल इट इज द इंटैंगल्ड मास ऑफ थ्रेड लाइक कलर्ड मटेरियल एंड इट इंडिकेट्स द एबिलिटी ऑफ दिस मटेरियल टू इजी टेक अप ऑफ अ स्टेन फॉर माइक्रोस्कोपिक एग्जामिनेशन द क्रोमेटिन अकर्स इन अ नन डिवाइडिंग न्यूक्लियस ड्यूरिंग सेल डिविजन इट इज ऑर्गेनाइज टू फॉर्म क्रोमोजोम्स क्रोमोजोम्स आर मेड अप ऑफ डी एन ए दैट इज डी ऑक्सी राइबो न्यूक्लिक एसिड एंड प्रोटीन्स द टाइप ऑफ प्रोटीन इज हिस्टोन प्रोटीन एज वी नो दैट डी एन ए इज द मास्टर मॉलिकुल एंड इट कंट्रोल्स ऑल द एक्टिविटी ऑफ द सेल सेगमेंट ऑफ डी एन ए आर कॉल्ड जीन्स एंड जीन्स आर द यूनिट ऑफ हेरिडिट्री करेक्टर दैट ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम पेरेंट टू ऑफ स्प्रिंग ऑन वन क्रोमोजोम मेनी जीन्स आर प्रेजेंट सो क्रोमोजोम्स आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज हेरिडिट्री व्हीकल हियर यू मे ऑब्जर्व इन द गिवेन फिगर अबाउट क्रोमेटिन एंड कंडेंसड क्रोमोजोम स्ट्रक्चर now the last part of nucleus is nucleolus nucleolus is a spherical or oval body which is present within the nucleus it is generally bigger in size in those cells which are actively concerned with protein synthesis and is more prominent in non dividing cells it contains large amount of rna and protein and also small amount of dna here you may observe the nucleolus present inside the nucleus now let us see what are the functions of nucleus nucleus helps in maintenance of cell and cell division so that is why it is called as controlling center governor of the cell it is required for transmission of traits from parents to offspring several cytoplasmic activities are controlled by nucleus now it is about types of chromosome on the basis of position of centromere the chromosomes are of four different types they are metacentric submetacentric acrocentric and telocentric we will discuss one by one first it is about metacentric chromosome in a metacentric chromosome centromere is present in the middle of the chromosome in this case the two arms are almost equal in length next is submetacentric chromosome the chromosome in which centromere is slightly away from the middle point and its one arm is slightly short and other arm is slightly long then it is called as submetacentric chromosome the chromosome in which centromere is situated close to its end forming one arm extremely short and other arm very long then it is called as acrocentric chromosome in telocentric chromosome the centromere is at the tip of the chromosome and the arms are on one side only here you may observe all the four types of chromosomes in this figure also you may observe telocentric acrocentric submetacentric and metacentric chromosome now the last topic of today's session is about satellite and micro bodies the chromosomes may have additional constrictions other than primary constrictions these additional constrictions are secondary constrictions part of chromosome beyond the secondary constriction is called satellite and are non staining the chromosomes having satellite are called as sat chromosomes micro bodies are membrane bound minute vesicles that contain various enzymes and are present in both plants and animals so this is all about today's session thank you for any kind of doubts please write your question in comment section